Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. So today I want to talk about what to focus on in your client evaluation sessions. So something I get asked on a regular basis is, Leo, how do I set up taster sessions? How do I set up uh, evaluation sessions? What should I be focusing on? And what do I need in order to make my evaluation sessions a success? So what I want to do today is I want to share with you four things that I focus on when I run evaluation sessions with the clients I work with. And, you know, these, this video is for you if you want to take these ideas and run with it, or if you want to implement your own type of system that you can onboard clients and essentially know what to focus on when a new player or a new client comes into your program and you need to provide them with feedback. So to give you a breakdown, the way we teach coaches in our program to set up evaluation sessions is, is very simple, right? So the first bit is you need to have a landing page where the parent essentially, when they land on your, your company, so this could be a Facebook page, this could be a website, right? Parents need somewhere where they can consume some information of yours and they can then register onto an evaluation session in your program. Okay, so the first bit is parents have landed on your Facebook page or your website, they've clicked a link and that, that takes them onto a landing page. And on that landing page is where they register for an evaluation session. What we then do is we, we teach our coaches to then follow up with that client or that prospect that has registered onto that evaluation session by either setting up a Zoom call or setting up a, a call with them where they give them a ring, introduce themselves as the coach and explain a little bit about what the what's going to be included in the evaluation session and what the program essentially is about. Okay, if you set your business up that way, not only do you separate yourself from everyone else, but it shows professionalism above and beyond what any other trainer in your local area is doing. Okay, so once you've gotten that call, you've spoken to the parent, they're happy to attend your, your eval session. Once they get to your session, the four things I'm going to share with you, are the four things that I focus on when I do these taster or evaluation sessions with new clients. Okay, so I focus on four different areas. So the first one is technical. Okay, so when the client comes in, we will go through a normal session, whether it be a one-on-one -on -one session or whether it be a group session. Okay, and what I essentially do is I focus on the technical aspect of the player. Okay, so the technical side is how is their dribbling? How good is their passing? How good are they receiving with different parts of the foot? or different parts of the body, uh, how confident are they with receiving and playing quickly? What is their shooting technique like? Right, so all the technical aspects of, of soccer, this is what I focus on uh, in the technical phase of uh, my evaluation uh, session. Now, the next bit is the physical. So physical movements, how quick are they? Um, how quickly are they? do they respond, right? So physical movements, strength in 1v1 situations, how strong are they when they're up against another player? Now, if you're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, in order to, to focus on the, the, the strength side of it, you can focus on what about when they jump to hit the ball? What's their power like? Uh, how quick are they running, right? And also... The, the power and, and strength of their, of their shooting or their technique. Okay, so when it comes to passing or shooting, what you can focus on on the strength side, if it's a one-on-one one -on -one session, is how what's their strength like when they pass the, pass the ball? What's their strength like when they shoot? Okay, so how, how, how much power do they have 
in their physical movements, when they receive, when they pass, when they dribble, uh, when they shoot, okay? Uh, speed, change of direction, very simple. Like, what's their agility like as a player? Are they quick to change speeds? Do they always stay in the same speeds? Uh, are they good at changing direction? Receiving with their back to goal, receiving forwards, uh, receiving sidewards, receiving under pressure. Okay, so what are their, 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 shall we say, attributes when it comes to change of speed, change of direction, okay, and their physical movements? The next bit is the social aspect. So engagement with a group. Now, if you don't have that client in groups and you have it one v one, what's the engagement with the coach? Right? Are they asking questions? Are they listening? Are they in another planet when you're speaking to them? Okay, next bit is listening skills. So how good is their listening and implementation? So do you have to tell them once? Do you have to tell them twice? Do you have to tell them three times? in order to, to do a, a specific session or an activity, okay? And also their behavior, right? Are they messing around or are they fully focused during that evaluation session? Now, the psychological side is ultimately the mental side. And this is their levels of concentration. So how concentrated are they? Uh, what's the, How's their communication when they speak to the coach, when they speak to other teammates on the... On the program, uh, what's their level of confidence? Are they shy? Are they introvert? Are they out? Um, extrovert? Okay, do they speak a lot? Do they hide? Okay, so these are the four areas that I focus on when I do an evaluation session with new players, and uh, and then the next bit. Once we've done that evaluation session, what I do then is I send feedback to the parent. Okay, so this might be the day after, so 24 hours after we've done the session, that parent will essentially receive feedback on what their, their child uh, did during that session. So they'll get some feedback on the technical, the physical, the social, the psychological. So I'll give them four, point, four things on these three, uh, four things, which are positives, and then I'll give them always one area of improvement okay i don't want to give them too many areas of improvement i like to focus on just one specific thing so it shows the parent okay my son has this thing that he has to work on and if they work with leo they'll be able to get better at that specific area of improvement and after that okay part of the part of the email so we've got all the feedback and then below it's the offer to join the program and the, the next steps that, that that parent has to take in order to get their child registered onto our program, okay? And this is essentially what I do with all the clients that I work with. This is what I help coaches on. So it's a very simple process. Landing page, somewhere where parents can register onto your evaluation session. Follow-up call with that parent once they've registered to talk about the program, to talk about what the taste decision is going to be about. And then next bit, once that session's done, 24 hours later, we send them feedback to their email, okay, with also an offer to join our program. And then the next steps on how to get registered before the next upcoming session, okay? So if you need any help with this, Visit the description in this video. You'll be able to get in contact with me. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom. I can learn more about your business. I can answer some questions. Or if you have any separate questions for me, you can either WhatsApp me at my number below or send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you for watching and make sure before you go, you subscribe to the channel. Don't stay stuck with your business. We're putting out content every 48 hours to help you and your business to get to the next level.